Sanjay Van was a very beautiful jungle. In this jungle, there were evergreen trees, mountains, and a very big lake. In the lake, there lived a flock of ducks, and many other animals used to come there to drink water. In that flock, there lived a pair named Duck and Drake. One day, Drake lay two eggs in a nest near the lake. Duck and Drake were very happy to see their two eggs. They paid great attention to their eggs. A little away from their lake, there lived a snake in a hole, and it used to keep a watch on all the other animals. When the snake saw the two eggs in the nest of the ducks, it was very happy. Wow, so big and fresh eggs are there. If I get a chance to eat them, then it will be great. First, I have to flew them away. In the evening, there came an eagle to drink water from the lake, and then came the flock of ducks. Hey, duck or drick, are they your eggs? Yes, I laid these eggs this morning. Oh, that's why since morning we haven't seen you in this pond. Yes, for the whole day today we were looking after these eggs. You didn't had anything in the afternoon. Aren't you feeling hungry now? No, I'm not able to control my hunger. But how shall we leave these eggs? Don't worry. Nothing will happen here. After getting food, we will have it and will return before evening. Saying this, both of them left the eggs alone and went away with the flock. The snake was listening to every conversation hiding in its hole, and it was looking for an opportunity when the eggs would be left alone in the nest. As they went far away, the snake was happy, a smile on its face. And greed in its eyes. He came near the eggs. Wow, so fresh and delicious eggs! Saying this, he opened his mouth and swallowed one egg. Wow, today is the greatest day! Saying this, he attacked the second egg and swallowed that too. Ah, today I am fully satisfied. Now I can peacefully take rest in my house. If someone will see me, then it will be difficult for me tomorrow. Saying this, he ran towards its hole and then slept away. When Duck and Drake came back to their nest, saying bye bye to their flocks, they were shocked to see the nest empty. Oh my! Where are my eggs? Where are my eggs? No one had seen them apart from the members of our flock. Who might have taken them? Duck thought for a moment and said, "To find this out, we have to use some tricks. Listen." Then Duck told about a plan to Drake. The next morning, Drake lay two more eggs, and both of them sat near the eggs the whole day. Before evening, Duck said, "Drake, I am feeling hungry. Let's go and search some food." But how can we leave these eggs all alone? Once again, somebody might take them like yesterday. I have one plan. Duck brought some grasses in its mouth and covered those eggs completely with the grass. Hmm. Now no one can see these eggs. Now we can leave them freely. Don't worry. Drake was very happy to see this. Then both of them left the area without any botheration. <laughs> they are thinking, with this plan, they can save their eggs from me. Today I don't have to wait for evening. Ah. Seeing this, he quickly came out of its hole and moved towards the nest. Duck and Drake were hiding behind a tree near the lake and were watching their nest. But when they saw the snake, they were very afraid. Before they could even think about anything, the snake had swallowed both their eggs, and then, being happy, went into its hole and slept away.
By the time Duck and Drake came near their nest, the snake had already gone away. This snake will be eating away all our eggs like this every day. This means we will never be able to see our babies. Duck was also in great thought. Then he caught sight of the eagle, which was drinking water from near the lake. Don't worry, Drake. Someone is there who can help us to get rid of this thing. And then Duck told the eagle, "Eagle, can you hear our voice?" Yes. Why not? Tell me, Duck. Duck told the eagle about the snake and their eggs. Hearing this, the eagle was angry and said, "The snake, as it is, is my favorite dish. I shall reach it to its right place." Both of them then made a plan along with the eagle. The next morning, Drake gave birth to two more eggs. This time too, the snake was looking at them. I think the animal is eating by looking to this grass on our house, and by mistake they are eating this eggs also. Let's leave them like this only. The snake was laughing and said, <laughs> "Keep it open or else keep it closed. They will be going to my stomach only." Duck and Drake left their eggs unattended and went away, and went and hid near the tree where they had hidden last time. According to their plan, the eagle was hiding on a branch of a tree nearby. I am coming. I am coming, my delicious eggs. Saying this, the snake was coming out of its hole and moved towards the eggs. When he came very near the eggs. The eagle flew fast towards the snake and aimed at it. As soon as the snake opened its mouth to swallow the eggs, the eagle caught hold of it. The eagle held the throat of the snake in its beak and flew away in the air. Hey, leave me alone. Hey, from where this eagle came? Help! Huh? Help! The eagle was very happy and without opening its mouth flew away. After flying for quite some time, the eagle reached a mountain. Two other eagles were waiting for her. As soon as the eagle released the snake from its beak, the other eagles started pecking at the snake and attacked it. The snake was half dead. Now the three eagles made the snake their prey and started eating it. The other side duck and drake were very happy to see their eggs safe and sound and they thanked the eagle in their heart after a few days two ducklings came out of the eggs and then duck and drake lived happily ever after with their ducklings <laughs>